hello there in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can download the sakila database which is designed for entry-level sql professionals to test their skills the first thing to do is to go to google and write and search for that sakila database download i already have it here so it's going to take us to this page and we are only interested in this particular link here where it says Sakila sample database and uh, we click on this link then it's going to bring us to my SQL documentation page and then we are just interested in the installation part right underneath we have the link here that will take us to where the database is situated so we click on this link then this page is going to show up where it says order my SQL documentation. Remember, we are only interested in my SQL, uh, the Sakila database, and then it's under the example databases, and it's right here. So you're going to trace it to where it says TGZ. So we click on the TGZ for our database to download. Then you double click it, then you're going to have it under your download section in your system so that is the first step now the second step is to launch your workbench uh, if you have not downloaded my sql workbench you can check my other video where i actually show how you can download it then also after downloading your S my sql workbench you're going to have to create a connection if you don't already have one also try to watch my other videos where I explain how you can uh, come up with a new connection. So I already have my setup. I'm just going to use any of the connections that I already created. If you don't already have one, well, after creating one, you're going to see it here. So for me, I'm just going to double click on the one I want to use. Then it's going to take me to this page uh, where we can actually uh, download our Sakila database. Uh, do not forget that my SQL Workbench is a DBMS database uh, management system where you can bring in your databases and uh, for your work. So we're going to import my uh, the Sakila database now. The first thing to do is to go to the top here where you see all that you can be able to do using this uh, software and we are only interested in the server. So if we click on the server, this server you're supposed to see different uh, items that you can do. But for this video, we are only interested in the data import. So we're going to click on data import. Then it's going to show you this surface here. And uh, you see this blue icon here we don't want it to be here because we are going to import from self-contained file. So we're going to click here. When you click here, you take your mouse to the far right corner of that place where you will see a dot here. So we are only interested in this dot. Uh, you double click on the dot. Then it's going to take you to where you saved uh, the circular database you downloaded in the first step. So here we have two items. We have the schema and we have the data. So first of all, we want to uh, import the schema because without the schema, we cannot be able to import the data. So we click on the schema. Then you see where it says start import. We click on start import. Wait for it to run, then it's going to show import completed. After you have imported the schema, you go up again and click on file. Now we want to bring in the data to the schema. So you say open SQL script. You click on it, then it brings you back to where uh, the circular database was saved. This time we are interested in circular data. Then you double click on it. It's going to show you something like this containing all the queries of how different tables in the database uh, was created uh, so all you need to do after you have done that is to just run the whole query if we run it 
Then you're going to look at under here. Let me make it a little broader. You find out that all the tables that are on this database all have been downloaded. Now, how do you know that you've downloaded this database? Right here, we have administration, then we have schemas. This area where you will know, see all the list of schemas that you have downloaded. For our SQL, for our circular database, we just need to refresh and it's already here. So you click on it, check all the tables that are on it. Uh, for those of you that are used to querying uh, databases, if you just click here now, you will find out that. So that is it.